The IAMI Euro Series finale comes from the home of champions, Karting Genk. The weather is always difficult to predict here, and across the three classes, it makes the title battle even more open than usual. For Luna Flusha, Theophile Nal, and Callum Bradshaw, the pressure will be sky high as the competitors will do everything they can to steal away their crown. So can they hold on? Let's find out. Sit back and strap in as Laurence de Sertour will drive us around the lap of Genk. A fast approach to turn one, open on entry, tightening up on exit, and then filtering out into a very tight second apex. Both good overtaking chances. Flat through three and four as the throttle builds, then a big stop into five as the cart needs to cling to the apex without nudging the curb. Along the motorway straight into one of the most common overtaking spots on the circuit, right into six. Close the door with a dash of curb on the exit before a long flowing right hand sweeper that requires concentration and control. Another dab of the brake pedal, turn in with confidence to the left with a little rumble strip to balance the rear of the cart. Up to Cafe Corner. Delicacy and accuracy are key factors here, particularly on exit as you can lose a lot of time and places in the next left. Then a smooth line into the final hairpin will set you up nicely for a fast throttle application on the main straight. Mastering this place in the dry is one thing, but in the wet, it's an entirely different animal. Racing up to the first corner, and Luna Flusha has got a decent start. So too has Bieloan Pianame. They go through the hairpin. Looks like it's a perfect start for Luna Flusha. No problems at all there. A spin. Van Bad Bosch slides, and he's going to lose several places. Sasha Van Bad Bosch on the first lap goes backwards through the field. And Mackey is looking likely to get into fourth place in the standings if he stays where he is. Kamyab goes for broke on Pianame. He gets through, as does Mackey. So they're now third and fourth. Oh, and that's a spin. Now that is the 961, I'm afraid. So that is game over. Here comes Elowan Pianame. He's going to go for a podium charge. He's up into fourth place. And with him goes Ben Smith. So Ben Smith goes in there as well. It is a very close run thing. Ben Smith goes for the move on Pianame and gets by. So Ben Smith, having set the fastest lap, is now into fourth position. Sasha Van Badbosch overtakes Roman Kamyab. This is for second in the title fight. Elouan Bianame is still holding on in front of Max Cuthbert. And now Max Cuthbert gets his move on the inside. Elouan Bianame, nice and smooth on the exit. He's going for second. He's not waiting around at all. And Ben Smith is there. So the fusions are now running one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, a big slide. Oh, that's a little bit cheeky there from Noah Baglin. Chopping across on Pradier as round the outside comes his teammate, Rodrigo Seabra, launches past all of them. That was very nice indeed. Oh, and it's getting too close. Pradier and Corby are off the road. And here comes Jacob Ashcroft trying to get through on the inside of Kamyab, and he's done it. Great move from Jacob Ashcroft. That'll do nicely. And Alfon Thalen's making his bid on Kamyab. And there goes Hugo Marti. Marti gets through as well. Kamyab is really struggling. Rodrigo Seabra is a good bet for next season as well. And what about this boy, Cosma? Cosma gets through in a second. Ben Smith fights back. Sasha Van Bosch gets the run on Harrison Mackey as a result. He's into fourth place. It's a wonderful race between these three. And Harrison Mackey's not far away either. Here's the move. And Cosma in a second. David Cosma gets into P2. Trying to get into third, past Ben Smith. Here's the move, but Smith's already attacking Cosma. Van Bosch is going to try and stick his card in alongside as well. Cosma holds the place. Harrison Mackey's going to get past Van Bosch as a result. Tighten up again. Mackey in fourth place. There goes Van Bosch into fourth position. Good overtake from the Dutchman. Up the inside, Cosma's going to challenge with Ben Smith. They're going to run side by side. That was so close. And it's still going to be a tough challenge as these drivers fight for position. Luna Flusha wins the race and the Euro Series in Mini X30. She is the first woman ever to win an Ayami X30 Euro Series title.
In third position for Great Britain, Max Cuthbert. And in second place for Romania, David Cosma. But your race winner, a new I Am A Euro Series Mini X30 champion for Spain, Luna Flusha. The final was amazing because I started first and I managed to get away. The track was a bit slippery, but it was good. It feels really good because at first I was with another team and now I'm really happy. I want to thank all my family, the Dan, Neil and Jack and my mechanic. Now is out of the cart before the race begins. That is the championship leader. He will not race in the final where he could become champion. We're racing at Karting Genk. And up to the start, Vinnie Phillips cuts across on Finn McLaughlin. McLaughlin will not concede. And McLaughlin holds the lead as they go through turn one. So the battle is raging as Canato Lee makes his bid up the inside and gets through past Finn McLaughlin. And Finn McLaughlin going through. So Finn McLaughlin gets into position into second, but if Canato Lee would finish second in front of McLaughlin, it would be Canato Lee that would win the title by four points. So Vinny Phillips leading. Here's Harrison making his bid on Kimi Duron. That's a good overtake. Gabriel Stilp goes with him. And Harrison storms past Stilp and Duron. Jerome's got better traction though. He storms back past Harrison. Harrison back on the inside of the hairpin. Here comes McLaughlin battling with Phillips for the lead of the race. This is going to be so tight between these two as the rain increases. And that's the reason why they're sliding. McLaughlin spins! McLaughlin spins! Oh, he can't believe it! Canato Lee is now in second place, and that is going to make him champion if he can just stay where he is. That is Aaron Ferrazzano. So Aaron Ferrazzano's come off the road, and I think so too has Sebastian Murray. So here comes Jaden Tian. Now, Jaden Tian is having an exceptional run. Yes, he is. Jaden Tian is on wet tires. They decided to take a gamble, and you know what? It worked beautifully. Vic Stevens has a warning flag, but watch, Jaden T is just gonna dice up the inside of Phillips. Bye bye, he's gonna disappear out front. Everyone else on slicks, Jaden T and on wets. He started dead last for this race, and they thought, well, why not? Let's see what happens. Here on the main straight, we can see Phillips and Lee. Now, if Lee can get past Vinny Phillips, he will be champion. He's going for it on the inside. Canato Lee takes the place. But can he hold it? He drifts wide again. Phillips back through. So Teofil Nal is back in the lead of the championship. Now Canato Lee looking for traction off the turn. He's back in front. Canato Lee's got to beat his teammate to be champion here. The rain is properly coming down now. And he's through again. So Canato Lee retakes the lead of the championship. Oh my goodness. Yellow flags are waving. It's full course yellows, full course yellows. But the slow boards are out. Now the race could end like this. Canato Lee has got into second at exactly the right moment. They cannot overtake. They're under yellow flags. Red flags, red flags. The race is being declared. Jaden Tian has won in fantastic fashion here at Karting Genk. But in second place, Canato Lee. The number 19 has become IAMI Euro Series champion. In third place for Great Britain, Vinnie Phillips. And in second place, also for Great Britain, Canato Lee. But your amazing race winner from last to first from the Netherlands, Jaden Tian. Today, I'm um, in the pre final. Um, I started fifth, I was able to um, come through and go up to second, but I uh, made some few mistakes and dropped down to fifth. In the final, um, it started to rain during the race and I just stayed calm and didn't try to um, 
do anything weird or overdrive and um, I was able to keep the car on track and managed to um, get to P2 and that was enough for the championship. I came from Japan um, last year um, to do the race in Europe and it feels good to win the European Championship title. Um, I've always um, dreamed to come to Europe and win some races and yeah, it means a lot to me. race to the first corner to Reza Babichkova gets a good start it's not a bad one for Ellie Goldstein he's going to hold it around the outside and drifting wide Babichkova up into the lead comes Callum Bradshaw so Bradshaw takes the lead in the first lap and there's a spin that's Sita van Meert no 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 Sita van Meert was having a great weekend and now she's got going again and that is Kean Shields Oh, devastating. What a weekend fight back he has been making all the way through. Oh, and a spin. That is Calteran. Calteran spins from seventh place. Now he's got to try and get the cart moving. It's Callum Bradshaw leading the race and looking good for the title. If he stays where he is, he's going to end this season on 297. And that will be a perfect run to the title for him. Down the back straight, Blomfist is really struggling, but Kimber's got better traction into their braking zone for turn six, and Kimber is through, third position. So a great race battle. Up the inside, that's a great run from the 246 of Fleming, but he loses it on the exit to Daryl De Leon, and the young star from the Philippines takes back the place. Now Luca Griggs is trying to get past Fleming. Here's Hillbrand up the inside of Westover, and that puts him into fifth position. So a good comeback drive from Pedro Hilbrand. He's still running a solid race here. And he is the IAMI Euro Series champion 2021. Callum Bradshaw rakes it in. Jubilant, exuberant and dominant. Excellent work from Callum Bradshaw. In third position for Great Britain, Mark Kimber! And in second place for the Netherlands, Dan Steenman! But your race winner and new Senior X30 I Am A Euro Series champion for Great Britain, Callum Bradshaw! After the pre-final, uh, in, the, in the dry conditions, the championship was already, was already sealed. So I'd just go out there and and, and show what I can do, but then obviously the the rain came down and there was a little panic in in uh, in Port Fermi, and uh, yeah, everybody was on on wets, and I guess uh, had a bit of luck again. Uh, I like the the wet, uh, even though it didn't it didn't necessarily count for anything. Obviously, I like the conditions a lot, and yeah, just just got got had no pressure, and and yeah, managed to take the win by over ten seconds. So. So yeah, all in all, it was a, it was a very good day. Over the rounds, we've been consistent and won by a big margin in the end, so it shows that the consistency is, is what you need. So, Luna Flusha, Kanato Lee and Callum Bradshaw emerge as IAMI Euro Series title winners, and they can now celebrate their fantastic success. But the teams will be preparing shortly for the IAMI I Games at Portimao in Portugal, where the racing will continue in November.